एवरी वन विशिंग यू ऑल आई वेरी हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस दिवाली ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन दिवाली इज द फेस्टिवल ऑफ लाइट्स एंड द विक्ट्री ऑफ गुड ओवर ईवल्स सो लेट्स सेलिब्रेट दिस दिवाली विद योर फैमिली एंड ऑफर द भोग ऑफ यमी एंड हेल्दी आटा पेड़ास विद द लॉर्ड एस लक्ष्मी एंड लॉर्ड गणेशा एंड गेट देयर ब्लेसिंग्स दिस इज निधि एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सिग्नेचर रेसिपीज बाय निधि So my today's yummy recipe is Diwali special wheat flour or aate ka peda. So friends before starting with the recipe I would like to request you all to please watch my full video and in case if you like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also do press the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of all my further videos For detailed written recipe and ingredients with their measurements please visit the description box below So why to wait quickly move on to my kitchen So friends in the first part will be dry roasting of wheat flour or atta Dry roasting the flour will not only enhance the taste but will also increase the shelf life of the pedas So this step is mandatory So add 1 cup of wheat flour to the thick bottomed pan or kadhai then dry roast it over low flame till nice aroma starts coming and color changes a bit it will take around 5 to 6 minutes then immediately switch off the flame we don't want to over roast the wheat flour and we don't want to burn it then the next part is ghee roasting of flour so add the ghee gradually and keep roasting the flour in the ghee so again switch on the flame and initially add around 2 teaspoon of ghee mix it well with the flour by continuously roasting the flour So friends by continuously roasting the flour for around 2 to 3 minutes now you can see that the flour has absorbed the ghee fully so now it's the time to add 2 teaspoon more of ghee and then again roast the flour by mixing the ghee well for a few more minutes Then again add two teaspoon more of ghee and again roast the flour. So friends, keep adding the ghee in small quantities and keep roasting the flour till nice creamy texture is obtained. So I kept on adding the ghee and kept roasting the flour for around 15 to 20 minutes over low flame continuously till I got the perfect texture to make the pedas. So friends finally we got the nice color and it's well roasted in ghee so now it's the time to switch off the flame and then immediately remove this mix over a separate plate we don't want to over roast it and we don't want to burn it 
Oh, now you have to wait till its temperature goes down and you can touch it properly. So after allowing this flour mix to cool down then we will move on to our next part that is adding other ingredients in making the pedas. So the first ingredient which I am adding of course is sugar powder. So initially I am adding around half cup of sugar and then mixing it well using my palms. So you have to add the sugar only when the temperature is reduced otherwise the sugar will melt. So after adding this sugar and mixing it, I am adding 1 fourth cup of more sugar and then I am mixing it again. So the quantity of sugar to be added totally depends upon your own choice and the sweetness of the sugar. So after mixing the sugar well, the next ingredient that I added is a mix of cashew powder and almond powder which is around half cup. It will give more richer and nice taste to our pedas. Instead of that, you can even add desiccated coconut powder or the usual milk powder as per your own choice. Or you can skip all of these if you want. So friends, the next ingredient to be added is around 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder and please don't skip it because it will give very nice taste, flavor and aroma to the pedas. The next ingredient that I added is around 1 pinch of nutmeg or jaifal. Again, adding it is optional but the taste of nutmeg goes very well with the wheat flour. So I would request you to don't skip it but the choice is yours. Also, please don't add the higher quantity of nutmeg powder. Add only one pinch or even lower than that. Then friends, mix together all these ingredients well and then start combining them using your palms. So at this point of time, if you are not able to combine the flour well, then it's always recommended to add some more ghee. So adding the ghee will give binding to the flour. So here I added a bit more ghee and then you can see that it has come to the perfect binding consistency. So after combining the flour well, now we are coming to our main part that is making the pedas and garnishing them. So to make the pedas, take a small portion from the flour mix and then press it between your palms to make it smooth. Then give it the shape of pedas. I am giving it the rectangular shape. You can give any shape of your choice. Do keep on smoothening the edges. So likewise you have to make all the pedas. Friends, as you can see here, our all the pedas are ready. So now let's garnish them. So for garnishing, I am taking a peda and then rolling it over the sugar powder. But again, the garnishing part is optional because we have already added the perfect sugar in our pedas. Instead of sugar, you can even roll them over desiccated coconut powder as per your own choice. Or you can totally skip this garnishing part. So friends, how yummy, delicious and attractive our pedas are looking. These are equally healthy as we have used the wheat flour in making the pedas. And now see the consistency. Mmm, it's mouth watering and amazing. So friends, if you follow the correct procedure, I am sure you will be able to make the perfect pedas. So I even garnished them with few rose petals and the chironji seed. So friends, enjoy this Diwali by offering the bhog of these yummy and healthy pedas to Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesha and get their blessings. So I am sure you all must have liked my recipe and will definitely try to make it. So do share your feedback and experience in my comment section below and also let me know which other recipes you want me to post. So see you soon in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching.